Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel again. In today's video, we are going to look at another version of Ubuntu 2004 Beta. It's called Ubuntu DDE. It's Ubuntu with the deep in desktop environment. Let's have a look at it. So I booted up now the machine from the ISO and we have only one option here. So I'll just hit enter. And the first thing I'm seeing here, there is a file system check before booting the machine. And that's it, no errors found. So we boot now in the live ISO. And there you go, we are now on the desktop. So I'll need to adjust the scale here. So I'll right click and click on display settings. And I'll bump the scale to two here. And there you go, I'll need to log off before changes take effect. So I'll click here on the button and click log out. And we are back now in the desktop. So let's go ahead and install the system. So let's double click the installer here. And the first thing we are asked to select the language. So I'm gonna choose English here. And there you go, and click next. So because I have an internet connection already here, it recognized my location. If you don't have internet yet, you can go down here to the right side where you have your network icon here and you will be able to select your wireless network if you have one, or if you have an ethernet cable, you should have already an IP. And once this is done, we just click next. And now we can select our keyboard layout. So I'll select mine here. So I'll go down to my keyboard layout here. I don't have English US right now. And then I'll just click next. And now we are asked to select the device where we want to install Ubuntu DDE. So in my case, I have only one disk here and I want to erase the disk. And I'm offered here also the option to encrypt the system. So if I check this box here, I can enter my passphrase here and then my disk will be encrypted. But I don't need to do this now, so I'll check this off. And then just click next. Now I can create a new user. So I'll type in my full name here and then choose a username. And for the machine name, I'll choose Ubuntu DDE. And then I'll choose my password and retype it. And we could also log in automatically without asking the password, but I don't want to do this. So I'll just leave this checked off and click next. And this is the summary of the installation. So we have our location here, the keyboard and the partitioning. So everything is set and we can click install. And for the confirmation here, we'll just click install now. And now the system is going to be installed, so I'll be back when it's done. So there you go, the system is now installed and the checkbox here to restart now is already checked off, so that's fine. And let's click done and reboot our machine. And I'll hit enter here to remove the ISO from the system. And there you go, we are now on the login screen. I need to change the scale again once I logged in, so let me put in my password here. There you go, so I right click on the desktop here and select display settings and change this to two. There you go, and I need to log out for the changes to take effect. So let me log out here shortly. And there you go, we have now a two scale. Well, as you can see already from the login screen here, we have here Ubuntu DDE, which is based on Ubuntu 2004 LTS. So I'll enter my password here and we are back in the desktop. So probably many of you know already that the Deepin desktop environment is home to the Linux distribution called Deepin. However, Ubuntu DDE is based on Ubuntu 2004. So let's have a quick look at the desktop here. Let's go down to the programs menu here. And this is one way on how we can see the apps installed on our machine here. We have our apps here listed, but we have also categories here. So if we click on categories, you can see we have internet video graphics and so on. And if we click on one category here, we'll see what's installed. So by default, for example, for the internet category, we have Thunderbird and Firefox. And we have also some other standard programs in the other categories. On the right side here of the panel, we have our computer folders. So if I click, for example, here documents, it opens here the file explorer into the documents folder here. So let's go to home quickly. And we see also how our folders here listed. We can also here switch to list view if you prefer that. And by clicking on the options here, we can also go to the dark theme. As you can see, this is still a little bit buggy. Let's not forget this is still a beta. So we can close this up and reopen it for the changes to take effect. There you go. And it looks also fairly elegant. So let's close this up. The second way on how we can see apps in Deepin is actually to expand the menu here by clicking this icon here. And we have now a grid layout, which is very similar to the GNOME grid layout or to the launchpad in Mac OS. And we also have a search bar here on top from where we can search apps. And a third way on how we can see apps on this desktop environment is to select the category icon here, which is going to have the categories on the left here, and we can scroll through them and see the apps in it. 
and we also have our search bar here on top as well. But I want to go back now to the first option, so I click the contract icon here. And as you can see here, we have already some updates for the system. So I'll pull this up. And this is the same software update that we have in Ubuntu. So I could choose here install now, but I'm going to skip this for this. So I'll click remind me later. And let's have a look at the settings here. So the settings here are based on tabs, which will appear on the right side of the screen. And as you can see, they are divided into categories as well. So we have accounts, display, and so on. And once I click on one of them, so for example, I click on accounts here. The categories here are going to be listed on the left side and I can scroll through them by clicking on them. So for example, I am now on the personalization category and I could choose here, for example, a different theme for the system. Right now it's the default, but I could choose also deep in dark, for example, or I can choose also another theme for the icons as well. So the preview here is missing right now. And I think this is because it's still a beta, but this is basically where you'll be able to choose different kinds of things for your system. So we can then go back here and let's scroll down to the last category here, which is the info category. And here we have some information about the system. So you can see it's based on Ubuntu 2004, 64 bit machine, memory and disk. And if we scroll down the list here, we have also an option for the boot menu where we can configure also the theme for the boot menu and also for the startup delay. So let me go back here to the main tabs. So Ubuntu DDE comes with the LibreOffice installed already. So if I click on all categories here and go to office, and let's pull up Writer here. There you go. Let's check the version by clicking Help here and About LibreOffice. And as you can see, it's version 6422, which is the latest version. So it's nice to have here. So I click Close here and click the window. And now let's change our wallpaper here. So I right click on the desktop here and go to Wallpaper and Screen Saver. And the selection here is based on this navigation bar here on the bottom of the screen. We have many wallpapers to choose from here already. So I'm just going to select one. And I'll select this one right here. So if I select one, it's going to be applied to both the desktop and the lock screen. But if you want to have this only for the lock screen or the desktop. So let's say, for example, I want to have this for the desktop. So I'll just click only desktop here. And I want to have another one for the lock screen. So I'll right click again on the desktop here and click wallpaper. And I'm going to select for the lock screen this one here, and I click lock screen. So now let's try to lock the screen here by going to the power menu. And the look and feel for the power options is also different here. So I'll just click lock here. And as you can see, the background of a lock screen is the second picture we selected before, which looks very elegant. So I'll enter my password again. Another option we have on the power options screen here is the start system monitor. So let's click this. And we could also go here to the dark team, which is a little bit easier on the eyes. And here we can see the applications running right now. And we can, of course, right click on this and end the process if we want to. We have also applications running for the user and also in the whole system. And we can also, of course, here choose to select one by right clicking on it and end the process if we want to. So let's close this up. And let's open up a terminal. So search here for terminal. And let's type in now uname dash r. This is kernel 5.4. This is the same kernel, of course, which ships with Ubuntu 2004. And we can also, of course, check for updates here directly with the apt command. So we could type in, for example, sudo apt get upgrade and hit enter. Enter the sudo password. And I could update my packages like this. For now, I'll type in n and hit enter. Because I want to show you another thing here, if we go back to the programs menu and under categories, we go to system. We have several ways on how we can update software here. We have, by the way, also the software center, which is typical also to GNOME. We have also software and updates in which we can also add more repositories if we want to. This is also standard in Ubuntu. And we have another option here, which is the software updater, which popped up before asking me for updating the system. This is also standard in Ubuntu as well. Again, I'll click Remind Me later. But here we have also another possibility, which is the Synaptic Package Manager. And it's nice to have this option as well here so that we can choose which application we want to use to manage our packages. So let me click Synaptic Package Manager here. And I have to enter my sudo password. And I'll close the window here and expand the Package Manager. So it's a little bit dark here. The icons don't come up really well. But I just want to search for a package here. So I'll click Search here. And I'll type in Time Shift and hit Enter. And we have time shift available here, so we could right click it and click mark for installation and click apply. And then click apply again. 
and it's take a moment now to download and install the package. And there you go. So I can click this off and close the package manager here. And now if we type in time shift, we have time shift there on the top with the blue dot, meaning this is a new app. So we can start this up and I need to enter my root password here again. And here is time shift up and running. So let me close this up. And this is a very quick look at Ubuntu DDA, the Ubuntu 2004 version with the deep in desktop environment. It's still in beta and it's going to be released a few weeks after the Ubuntu 2004 release. And I'm going to check this again once the full release is out by making a full review. So there you go, this was a quick look at Ubuntu DDE, Ubuntu 2004 with the deep in desktop environment. This is still in beta, but I'm gonna make a full review as soon as the official release is out in a few weeks. I hope you liked the video guys, if you did please hit the like button below and subs to the channel if you haven't already, subs really helps us out guys. And if you wanna support the channel, please visit our Patreon website. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.